Now, Jamila Jamil, you know her from her breakout role on The Good Place. Now she's playing a villain determined to overpower superhero and She-Hulk, attorney at law. Good to see you here. Hi. Now, we were just talking off camera. You started out as a television presenter on a morning show? I did. I did. I used to do a morning show, afternoon show. I was on television seven days a week, and then I was a, a BBC documentary maker before I came to America. And a teacher oh. before that. Yeah. And now in your third rendition, incredible actress, The Good Place, right. and now this, sort of tailor-made for you. It's really, really fun. It's incredibly surreal. Even being here is still so surreal. I'm sorry I didn't make more of an effort. Oh. <laughs> we we well, love you, the outfits. You, yeah. <laughs> you certainly made an, uh, an effort in, in episode one. You broke through a wall and got taken down by She-Hulk. Mm -hmm. So what can we expect to see this week? I'm just coming back to ruin everyone's day, which I feel like even in real life I have a special talent for. Uh, so I've been method my whole life. Now, I, I heard that you turned down the audition at first. Was that because you didn't want to play a villain? Uh, I turned down the audition because I'm just not an athletic person. I'm more of a sort of puddle with bosoms, you know? Like I, I'm not someone, I was built for the sheets, not the streets. Oh, and yes. so I, uh, not even great in the sheets, to be honest. And, uh, and I, uh, <laughs> I just never thought that I would ever be able to exist in that world. I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and it's a health condition that means that you're not necessarily the most built for action, and yet they talked me into it and uh, allowed, sorry, that's so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, Kat Coiro, our director, just was hell-bent on having me in the show. And so she emailed, she called, she talked to me in person, she hounded my manager and just talked me into it by lying and saying it was just a cameo, no action, I'd be in and out because she knew I was so afraid of letting anyone down. That's got to like, feel great, though. It was amazing. I get there and I find out I'm playing my favorite character in the MCU. I had no idea. I have superpowers and I was there for six months and I got to learn jiu-jitsu and parkour and kung fu and how to fight on a wire, which is actually very painful for the lady part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as you, you were saying off camera. Um, I want to talk to you about Megan the Stallion. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you got her on the show? She I was did. on because of you. Yes, I mean, it's not hard. Uh, that wasn't <laughs> difficult. <laughs> well, I, I look basically. Look at the scene that, we're, that we have here. I mean, that's fantastic. I, yeah, I, we made Marvel twerking history, but basically, I've worked with Megan before on Legendary. I know that she's a massive Marvel nerd, and I also know that she's just iconic in every way and a quadruple threat. And so I asked her if she'd be interested. I knew we were looking for a huge celebrity cameo, and I can't think of anyone just better in the world to have on our show than Megan. It was an instant yes from her, an instant yes from Marvel, and then twerking history was made. Wow. <laughs> so what was it like DJing for Elton John? Oh, goodness. Uh, DJing for Elton John was extremely stressful because I'd never DJed before. <laughs> Basically, the week before I'd been at a party and I was um, slagging off the music to another woman, she turned out to be the organizer of the event. And she was like, well, you know, if you don't like the music, I, I'm doing Elton John's party next week and, and I need a DJ. Do you DJ? And because I'm a lunatic, I just went, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> I'm the best. Wow. <laughs> and found myself booked a week later. I presumed she would ask me to send her a demo, which I wouldn't be able to do and it wouldn't go anywhere. And uh, she didn't, because she's very bad at her job. And uh, <laughs> I went and I DJed at Elton John's party. I had a week to learn. I got How'd you lessons. do? Uh, I did fine, OK? I didn't blow Elton away. I never got booked again by him. <laughs> but I did start a 10-year DJ career, so I did something right. There you go. <laughs> I didn't set anything on fire. Fantastic. It's about a million things yeah. you've done But right. my whole career's been like that. Just it saying, really has. Just saying, Mm hmm to everything. I've never acted before The Good Place. I've definitely never done stunts before Marvel. And so I think just saying yes to everything, not everything. <laughs> Guys, not everything. Well, we can't uh, wait to see what you do next. <laughs> <Help> me, <yeah. laughs> Thank you for coming in. It. New episodes of She-Hulk debut on Thursdays on Disney+. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.